Sammy, you guys are in the process of having a pop-up here at Tamarind. Tell us what a pop-up is. Um, Bev, a pop-up is quite a cool concept. It applies to anything generally in the food and beverage industry. So we've got pop-up coffee shops, pop-up restaurants, pop-up bars, um, and it's essentially where a place that is not ordinarily used for the purpose of serving food and beverage um, or in a certain style is transformed into a space where it is. Um, for us, we obviously are a takeaway. Um, we have a few tables and chairs and we allow people to sit, um, come and sit down. And so the pop-up is an opportunity to encourage people to come and experience Tamarind as a restaurant. And so our setup is quite basic, but we focus on the food. Sammy, so the food wasn't just Asian food tonight. It looked like some awesome things in there. So yeah, Brandon decided he wanted to play around with some menus a bit. Um, having trained and worked at Flavors restaurant previously, um, he's got quite a good background in terms of the culinary arts. And his feel was to create something that incorporated, incorporated some Asian fusion, um, but working with, with meats and with, with dishes that were a little bit more involved. So we had as a starter, we had a duck, uh, free-range duck liver pate that was served with a kumquat marmalade and a beautiful root vegetable carpaccio. And then we, uh, main course is what we called spring lamb, um, spring in inverted commas, but we did a, a curried lamb shank uh, uh, pasty uh, that was done in a hot watercress pastry. And we also served that with a pan-fried um, masala spiced a lamb loin. Uh, on a pea puree, we had potatoes and red onion marmalade to accompany that. And then dessert, which and Brandon loves to play with his desserts, was a lemon shortbread. And we did that with grilled nectarines and a homemade licorice ice cream, which went down quite nicely. So yeah, some, some, some Asian elements coming in, but yeah, some fun, fun for Chef to just mix it, up, mix it up a bit in the kitchen, which he enjoyed, I think. Any future pop-ups in the pipeline? Um, yes, yeah, so we've actually got, as everyone knows, 24th of September is Heritage Day. It's a Saturday this year. It works in our favour a little bit. We're going to be doing um, outside in front of our shop an awesome setup. We're going to be doing a, a, what is our traditional long table seating where everyone has an opportunity to sit next to someone that they don't know and get, get to mingle and get to be friendly. So we're looking at about 50 people for the event. We're doing obviously a bra being Heritage Day, but we're incorporating a bit of an Asian twist, so we'll certainly be posting more information about that shortly. That'll start at about lunchtime? Yes, that'll be, we'll probably more or less from about one o'clock and then going on till when everyone decides they've had enough. Now you're not licensed, so bring your own cooler box. A hundred percent, bring your own cooler box, um, we'll supply the food and yeah, together we'll all have a good time. And your pop-ups, where do you advertise them? On Facebook? Yes, so Facebook, um, we also have a, a running email list of people that have inquired or given us their address. We send out emails in advance and um, yeah, we let people know via, via email, via Facebook, via WhatsApp. So if anyone who's interested can get in touch with us and give us their details and they'll be first to know when, it, when it's happening. Good food, good drink, good people. What more could you want? Thank you, Sammy. Okay, thank you.